Hi, my name is Afonso, and I'm going to be your instructor for the course of Introduction to Carbon Accounting. After working in the past 10 years in sustainability and the four years of NetNara, we've worked with hundreds of companies in understanding their sustainability and carbon accounting needs. My goal in this course is that from here, you take the knowledge, the resources, and the tools to be able to conduct your own business carbon assessment, regardless of industry, budget, or know-how. I'm gonna give context into why things are the way they are, who's writing the rules, and then we'll deep dive into the specific things you need to know to be able to understand carbon accounting as its fundamentals and carry on an assessment. In module one, we'll cover a broad introduction to carbon accounting. We'll talk about why it matters and what it is at a high level. In module two, we'll deep dive into emission scopes. You probably heard about scope one, scope two, scope three, but how do you go about categorizing things in the correct place and why it matters in the first place? In module three, we'll go over the regulations and frameworks that are pushing and driving businesses to measure and report on their emissions. Yes, climate change is a thing and sustainability is important for all of us, but there's also a bit of a carrot and a stick driving businesses to take action and we'll learn what those things are depending on industry, region and company size. On module four, we'll go over what we call the GHD protocol and learn about the carbon accounting methodologies in a step-by-step -step of actually carrying that first assessment. In module five, we'll go over the carbon reduction strategies and learn from some case studies from leading companies and lagging companies on what can be done in terms of actioning change. Finally, in the last two modules, we'll go over carbon offsetting in module six, also known as carbon credits, and how you can invest with money about neutralizing the emissions generated by a business, the pros and the cons, and how to do it safely. And finally, in module seven, we'll go over the new global reporting frameworks that are being introduced and why it matters for companies, which companies have to comply, and how you can use debt leverage to convince stakeholders, colleagues, and bosses to carry their first carbon assessment from a risk perspective, as well from a competitive advantage perspective. The structure for this course is quite simple. In each module, you'll have a presentation, text that you can read, external resources, and finally, a quiz. There's a quiz for each module, and our goal is that you complete each one to perfection. When you complete all quizzes, you've completed the course. And the goal here is that you get 100% in all the questions. After that, you can claim your course certification and get going and initiate your first carbon assessment with NetNada or by yourself. So without further ado, let's jump right in and get started.